I'm watching the NBA All-Star game. Coop, who's now 12, um, turns to me and goes, Dad, why aren't they playing defense? Yeah. <laughs> well, well. Uh, and I'm like, you know, uh, it's an All-Star game, and it's kind of difficult to hear this because, you know, All-Star games used to be, for me, moments where everybody showed up in their own uniforms, right? Like their that. own warm-up uniforms, Instead of, you know, the, the all-star jerseys and uniform warm-up jackets that Coop, NBA, would like me to buy for you. If you say, hey, Dad, I like that. Okay, let me go right now to NBA.com and, and, and dial it up. The same way that every, in the same way that, that baseball does it for their all-star games. In the same way that the NFL used to do it for their Pro Bowl. Now, Pro Bowl games or whatever the heck they, they have morphed into it. Because we saw everybody stop playing defense. And the Pro Bowl in the NFL used to be, you know, hardcore for a old school. And then they stopped playing defense until the fourth quarter when the players in the NFL Pro Bowl used to do the math in their heads and say, okay, so I get this much more if I win than if I lose. And this is how much it's cost to take the entire family to Hawaii this week. And so I'm actually up. If I win and I'm in the red, if I lose, I better start playing defense. That's literally the way it used to go in the NFL. True. For the Pro Bowl. When I started covering it in the early aughts. But defense actually happened. Glorified layup line? Is that who who called it that? Which which player called it? I think Jalen Brown called it a glorified layup line. Not happening. And this is after his teammate went for the double nickel and hosted yeah. the MVP. And they had some cool moments going at each other one on one. Of course, they were on opposite teams. And then Shea Gilgis Alexander, he was upset <laughs> because LeBron blocked his shot. And he's right. kind of like, what, "What's up with that?" SGA afterwards, he, he's like, what, "What's up with that?" LeBron's letting Olaying everything. He, he saw Tatum jam one down, and LeBron, his arms are that, in the uh, he, like. It, it looked in real time like he attempted to block the shot, but in a still photograph, <laughs> LeBron's arms are in the air, way past <laughs> Tatum, who had yet to jam it in. LeBron didn't want to be on a poster. And, you know, I mean, is it is it is it brutal that, you know, all-star games aren't what they used to be anymore in any sport? Yeah, it's just a bummer. It is a bummer, you know, and, and it's tough to come on and pound a table and say this is so outrageous. It is a bummer. Yeah, it's a bummer. It's a bummer, and I've seen, you know, fixes certainly for the NBA all-star game in the, the first blush of the 24, 48 hours since that glorified layup line and 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 I know that the the NBA now has uh in the fourth quarter a fixed score that the team that enters the fourth quarter with more points than the other team has a better shot of being the first to that score that's how you determine who wins it and thus defense starts to maybe get played in the fourth quarter but you know uh, it, it's just not a game anymore and if you're trying to tune into an all-star game to watch a game you're not going to see one you're just not going to see one anymore. So either we have to change our expectations or the leagues have got to tell these players play defense or how about this? If you want, I'm, I, I've thought a lot about it. This is what happens when you're sitting around a fire as I was yesterday having a glass of Cabernet. Oh, oh, nice. yeah. oh no, it's, it's good. <laughs> as you know, I'm, I'm a gold medal apres skier who doesn't ski. So <laughs> Best in the world. Well, I mean, I should ski, but that's a different story for it's different dangerous, city. Rich. All I'm saying is this. Yes. Sitting around, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, what? why is there no defense anymore in these All-Star games? And and part of it, I think, has to do with the players um, are all friends with each other. And in the day when we grew up, when players were all friends with each other, it still didn't matter when they played each other. They still wanted to rip each other's hearts out and show it to them pumping. And I don't think these athletes of our current time are like that anymore. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't think they really care about losing in a game like this because they all go back to their lives and are very happy. And I'm, I'm not just saying this is the NBA. It's the NFL, too. You also don't want to get hurt in any of these games. Right. Yeah, that's the You know what thing. I mean? And, and, and so it doesn't matter the, the days of, of us growing up where the competition really mattered more than anything else. That it didn't matter, like Jordan, back in the day, where losing a game of quarters or pennies or to to the security, to the security guard, yeah. guard, you know, where he he had to win everything. Right. 
Those days are gone, and they're not coming back. And another, in part and parcel of that is the conversation that I know that Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving had with the media leading up to the NBA All-Star game, is that them saying, I don't want to play for the team that I'm contractually obligated to for the next several years. I don't want to play for them anymore, so I say I don't want to play for you anymore, and I should get to go wherever I want. I should I should declare free agency whenever I darn well please in the middle of a long-term contract because it's more interesting, as I think Durant said for the NBA, or Kyrie said, I don't think it's, you know, out of the realm to say, I don't get along with every employer. Oh, by the way, when he said that, I'm like, oh, really? Oh, yeah, Tell no, me more about no, that. No kidding. This just in, huh? Okay. That, he, that he shouldn't have to, you know, live with that. As if the rest of us in, 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 on planet Earth can relate to that. I like uh, you. I appreciate that. But if you didn't and you said you wanted to go, well, we don't have contracts here, so. Yeah. You can just go. I got the analogy answer right there. Yeah, you, you could just go. I, ain't got, I, got, I got nowhere to be anyway, so I like it here. But that's another part and parcel of this. It, it, re, it really is that this day and age where I can go wherever I want to go because I'm as great as I am, and I, all I got to do is say the word, and, and the governors have to let me go. So why should there be any competition for a game that doesn't count? When the competition aspect of I'm going to beat you with my five against your five, no, no, you know, my five's not as good anymore, and the governor of this team told me it was going to be good. So guess what? I want out, and I'll go play with somebody else who I kind of love as a person, and I don't care about beating with my current team. You see what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know if, again, the altitude was getting my, my mind going. You know, at 10,000 feet, you, you can't breathe, <laughs> and you, you, feel, you feel every ounce of your body weight, and, and, and you start thinking crazy things. I'm serious. Sin, sin, why did it not matter, the competition? And also, it doesn't matter in the fact that you're choosing the team before the game. Also, they changed it so no one would get their feelings hurt by being picked last. Although Jaron Jackson Jr. was. And and as far as that I'm concerned, stupid. you know what? And that's how I'm going to bring it all full circle. I'm going to bring it all full circle right here. Is that if you're Jaron Jackson Jr., if you're Triple J, you're thinking, to hell with all these guys. To hell with all of them. Because it should hurt you that you're picked last. And again, this is coming from somebody who got picked last a lot in in, in, uh, in grade school. Should it though, Rich? I mean, you're the 24 yes, best should. players in the world. Someone's yes, going to get picked should. last. And to bring it all full circle, I have a new favorite team here on the Rich Eisen Show. I am rooting for the Memphis Grizzlies. Because any team in the NBA that's coming for you and doesn't care who you are or what you play for and who you play for, and I'm going to puff my chest out, and I'm going to tell you, I don't have any leg to stand on with my current resume of how many rings there are in the closet. I think we can beat you with our current team. Nobody asking out. Nobody's saying that, you know, uh, let's swap jerseys after the game and hug it out. They're, they're angry. They're stirring it up old school more than any team in the NBA through the first half of this season. Half in quotes. I'm rooting for the Memphis Grizzlies. I want them to win it all. And I want them to tear it apart. And I want Jaron Jackson to say, okay, picked last. My ass, defensive player of the year. He's just not buddies with, with LeBron and Giannis, right? I mean, fired up. Because everybody doesn't like that. I am rooting. <laughs> hey, I am rooting for the Memphis Grizzlies. I want them to. Is there another team that just talks it, tries to walk it, does walk it a lot? They're like the old school. We're going to put you on your ass if you're coming down the lane. And they talk like they've got five rings in the case. They do. Grizzlies are not a very well-liked team. So I know that. But now, the only one. now we are liking them. We're on their wagon. Me? After this whole, yes, at least I am. I mean, I got, I got enough teams, I think. I got it. <laughs> You see what I'm picking? Are you picking down what I'm uh, or picking up can, what I'm putting I can down take here? A West team, they could be my West team. Why not? Why not? All right, I'm in. Because I have John Fantasy. I'm in. I'm sure they swap jerseys after the game or whatever, but they they don't care. They're coming for you. The old school, like John Sally, who sat in his chair yesterday. And again, I think I'm making maybe a little bit more out of the NBA All Star game than not, but it just. 
I don't know, man. More Mac McClung and less layup line. That's what I want. More Dane time. Pulling up from 50 feet. I love him. <laughs> layup line. He's he's pulling up from he's pulling up from the logo in the parking lot. Man. So that was my take on the NBA All-Star game watching it. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 